Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Welcome back. It is 517 this morning. It may be a cool start to the day, but the good news, warmer temperatures may be, I don't know, even possibly this afternoon. We'll check in with Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier for the latest information. Yeah, you know, it is going to warm up as we head through the rest of today, Ryan, but it's not going to be a warm day. So, you know, we're still going to need the jackets out there, especially for the morning time where we see our temperatures here just holding in the 20s near 30 degrees. It is a very cold one. Sportsman's forecast showing at least we have clear skies out there. A lot of frost around the area too. So a reminder, if you're going to get on the roadways, give yourself about five minutes there to get that frost off the car. What we are looking at here though from our Queen City of the Tesh camera in New Iberia, some quiet weather at Admiral Doyle and Lewis. Our camera sits high atop the Community First Bank building there so you can see how quiet of a time it is to start your morning off. Now, it's a little different in places. We have those mid 20s in Ville Platte, and Opelousas. Compare that to the I 10 corridor, the population center is a little bit warmer. We have that urban heat island effect going on again, where that concrete traps the heat and it keeps the air temperature a little bit warmer there. But you get away from the city and temperatures have dropped off into the mid 20s once again. As we go through the day today, we are going to notice an increase in our cloud cover getting closer to lunchtime. Now, it's not going to be cloudy out there, but it is going to be at times a few of those clouds sneaking on in, providing some shade. Our winds have gone around to the south, and that's going to bring in a little bit more humidity. But going into the overnight hours, these clouds continue to build on in ahead of a cold front, which looks to come through sometime between 9 and midnight. Now, this isn't going to drop our temperatures drastically behind it. We're not going to see any more of a hard freeze type situation. It is going to turn our winds out of the north and impart a little bit of a chill to the air through early Tuesday morning. So by 7 o'clock, look, it says on Futurecast we're going to see sunlight and some breezy conditions out there. But through the day tomorrow, some really nice weather in place, although it will be chilly. High temperatures today will generally be in the upper 50s, so we're creeping closer and closer to that 60 degree mark, but there will be a few clouds, no rain out there. Tonight we'll see another cold one, maybe some upper 20s to Ville Platte and Opelousas, lower 30s south of the interstate, but because of the winds, I'm not expecting as much frost when you wake up. May have some there towards midnight before those winds really start to pick on up. And then tomorrow, 53 degrees, so a little cooler because of that northerly wind push in the afternoon hours. But still a beautiful day, lots of sunlight from here on out, though, where you are going to be watching as things change and we go back to more of a springtime pattern. Rain chances starting on Thursday, highest on Friday and still around Saturday and Sunday there. We are going to have to watch for Friday because there will be a severe threat likely in the morning time. I don't think it's going to be a big one like what we saw the last time, but we could have one or two rough storms. But look at your temperatures here, how fast they jump up. 53 on Tuesday for a high to 70 on Wednesday, approaching 80 on Thursday. So yeah, just as we're finally saying, okay, we don't have to deal with those extremely cold temperatures. We got to get ready for shorts and you know, for that kind of heat in the afternoon to build back on in. It's crazy how the weather goes around here sometimes, Ryan. I love it. Everybody back home is so jealous of the temperatures uh, coming up for us. That is great. Uh, I am too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. We'll check back in later on.